Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of Valdestot's Voice, and I'm your host, Valdestot. And on today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the right way of actually banning a customer for a customer you do not want to deliver to. The right and correct way, and hopefully for you not to abuse it, and this will always have the order removed without penalty. So, this is the situation that I learned on what happened in my case, okay? I got a Taco Bell order, and Kevin, don't laugh. I know it's Taco Bell and I'm the Taco King, but come on now, this I'm being serious. So anyway, got a Taco Bell order, and it was a standard order, went to the Taco Bell, and uh, picked it up and delivered it to a customer, reached the customer's address, and the person had been smoking a ton of marijuana. As soon as the door opened, you could just smell it. You could smell it on him, you can smell it in the house, and normally I wouldn't really care. I don't judge, you know. It's illegal in some states, it is in my state in Tennessee, but you know what, I don't care. I just want to deliver the food. Well, this guy was, in all honesty, an a-hole and a jerk. He just basically opened the door, kind of spouted some things, was kind, you know, just basically got the food, slammed the door in my face, and that was it. And I'm thinking, well, shoot, I was going to let him get away with it if he just grabbed the food, but he was kind of rude. And to be honest, I didn't really feel like I ever wanted to deliver to this guy again if I'm going to have to deal with the marijuana smell and his bad attitude. So pretty much, I called driver care, explained the situation, and he basically said, well, with restaurants you can ban through your driver specialist, but with customers there is no actual way to ban a specific customer. So he stated to me that if I ever get that order again, simply call driver care and they will remove it for you because of this bad experience. So I said, okay, that's fine. Thank you. And he noted in the account. Three days later, I get a Taco Bell order, accept it, get to the restaurant, pick up the order. And as I you know, basically uh, hit leaving, I noticed that the customer's name and address was the one we put in our ban list. I'm thinking, well, shoot. All right, what do I do now? So I call up driver care and I say, well, this is the same customer from three nights ago that I specifically stated I did not want to deliver to because, you know, this, uh, I explained the situation. And this driver care agent didn't seem like the, uh, she wanted to help me. And I said, look, read the notes from three nights ago. We took the note of the date and time and the name of the customer and exact told them exactly what happened. And she basically said, well, I can remove it, but it's going to be without penalty. Now, this is where I started getting really upset. I literally said, whoa, 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 whoa. The driver care agent three nights ago stated, if I ever get this customer at any time from that point forward, you guys would be able to remove it without penalty. And she said, no, that's not true. The driver care agent was uh, you know, probably misinformed. I said, look, I do not feel safe going back there to that house and to that customer because he was rude as heck and he was smoking up a storm and I don't feel safe going back there. Now, that word, not feel safe, safety reason, when I told her that, completely changed her tune. As soon as I said those words, she stated, okay, I understand, I will remove this order without penalty on you, or for you, okay? So, that was that. I returned the food, and that was basically it. So, pretty much... The key takeaway point on this is is that Grubhub cannot force you into a situation where your safety may be at risk because if something happens to you, first of all, 
they're going to get major negative PR. Second of all, if something does happen, you survive the event, you can sue them after stating that you called saying it wasn't safe. They force you to do it and you get hurt. They're going to be in for, be in for a major lawsuit. So I'm only telling you this because I'm not saying to abuse the system because, you know, if you do it too many times, I'm pretty sure they're going to flag you. Okay. But if it's for the exact same customer, there's nothing they can really do because it literally would be for the exact same customer. And hopefully you won't, you only have maybe a handful of customers. So they can't rightfully or, you know, proofs or saying that you are, you know, uh, playing the system, abusing the system or whatnot of banning customers without penalty. But in real situations like this, folks, always say if your safety is in on the line, they must remove that order and unassign it without penalty. And if they say otherwise, just play the safety card and that will tell them off and change their tune and that will get that order off your screen end of story so yeah have you guys ever had this kind of issue where you felt unsafe to either go into an area or met a customer that seemed like he or she could threaten your safety whether through drugs or through a, a you know crazed look or well, having weapons or anything like that leave a comment below Feel free to, you know, uh, throw me a like or not throw me a like. I don't really care about that, as I always say. I just want to inform you guys of information that may be helpful for you on Grubhub. Maybe the other platforms, too. Maybe you could use the safety card as well to get you out of a sticky situation when it is safety related and you may not have known. All right. So this is Valdestat signing off. Hopefully you guys are doing well today and, you know, making your money. Drive safe out there and I'll talk to you guys later.